in today's session we will see how images are formed using concave mirror and convex lens you know that concave mirror produces real images which can be captured on screen same is true for convex lens so we will use this arrow as an object and there will be a source of light on back side of it so this will become a illuminated object which will create images using either a mirror that is concave mirror or a lens that is convex lens we will also in the same continuity try to learn how exactly your vision is corrected by you know we use spectacles to correct our vision we will show it using a convex and concave lens and exactly know how vision is corrected so let us go for activities we will uh, switch this light source on place this concave mirror in this stand in front of it and get its image on this screen by changing the distance from object to mirror we can get image at different locations and we may try to measure that distance as well let us begin i'll turn this on first okay so i am placing this object and mirror at distance of say 30 cm here it is let me see where do i get that sharp image on this you will find i am getting image here so the image is small inverted you can easily see that now i'm moving this mirror at about 20 cm and let me see where do i get a sharp image so here you can find that the image and object they are at same distance that means from mirror distance of image distance of object both are identical that means this is the place where this mirror and object they have a distance exactly equal to center of curvature of this complete circle or c or two times its focal length so if it is 20 that means focal length of this mirror is about 10 cm now if i move it maybe at about 23 or 24 cm let me see where do i get the image i'm getting image somewhere here and one more try i'll just show you if i place the object at a distance of about say uh, 15 cm so you will find i'm getting a large image here at much longer distance so if 10 is focal length and 20 is position of c then if i place in between f and c i get real inverted enlarged image if the object is beyond c like at 30 cm 25 cm then we get smaller image real inverted but small image and when the object is exactly at c then you get same sized image at 
same distance as that of object. We will try out image formation using convex lens. So that lens is placed in this stand and I am placing it here. The distance right now is 20.5 20 cent, 20 centimeters. So I will just adjust the sharp image here on this screen and measure distance from lens to this image as well. So that is again 20.5. So, and again you can notice that image size is same as object size. We are using this arrow as an object. So they are same. And so this is the distance equal to double of focal length, that is 2f. This is again same distance. So when the object is at 2f distance from lens, image is also at 2f distance from lens and image is inverted real and of same size if i move this forward i am placing it at about say uh, 28 or 29 centimeters so let me see where do i get the image i am getting image here so you can easily find that the image distance is much less that is hardly 15 15 centimeters Image size is very small or that is diminished image, it is inverted, real and small. Now what will happen if I place the lens, if I make the distance between object and lens, something like say 12 centimeters or 13 centimeters, right now it is 13 centimeters. So you will find you get enlarged image as good as you can get that on the wall so it is much enlarged image but inverted that means if the distance between object and lens is between f and 2f you get enlarged inverted but real image if i bring it still close the image will be much beyond this length as well so you can understand when the object is beyond 2f, you get small image. When object is exactly on 2f, you get same size image. And when object is between f and 2f, you get enlarged image. So this is enlarged image again. So this is the way images are formed using convex lens. And you know that concave lens does not form real images, so you cannot get images like this using a concave lens. Now we will see how vision is corrected using convex and concave lenses or the way we use spectacles to correct the vision. Look at this image now. Right now the object is much beyond 2f. That means object is at a distance more than 2f. Object is nothing but your arrow. This the lens, consider this is a lens of your eye and image that is formed on retina. Now here the image is blur and the object is quite away. So we are essentially talking about nearsightedness. So the distant objects appear blur. So you can correct that kind of vision by using a concave lens in front of your eye. That is nothing but this is nothing but a spectacle you are wearing. So you can see that the image is now sharp and quite clear. So that is the nearsightedness or myopia. Now same consideration if I continue. If now the object is much close and the image is blurred like this. It can be corrected using a 
convex lens like this I will once again remove this lens so you can understand that the nearby objects are not visible so elderly people do not find it easy to read newspaper they see something blurred like this and they correct their vision by adding a spectacle having convex lens like this this is far sightedness